So Rita did the previous section uh, of the anatomy series, and I thank you, Rita, for leading me here. She was coming from the kidney, finishing off around the kidney, walking her way down the ureter towards the bladder, into the bladder, right? So when this image over here is taken from above, and we can just see the ureter coming into the bladder. And here in this image below, we can see the ureter coming down and inside the bladder. This is the bladder wall and the entry points of the two ureters and the exit, the bladder neck going down to the urethra. But what I aim to do to start with is to go in front of the bladder. Eventually I will come back, I will come back to the bladder, but now I will focus a little more to the front of the bladder, more to the pubic bone itself. So we step to the entry points. How can we address, how can we get in touch with the pelvis and the inside of the pelvis? So we start with the pubic area. On this image, you can see one ilium and the other part is gone, but you can still see the pubic symphysis. You can see there is an interpubic fibrocatalysis lamina, or a disc rather. You can also see the cartilage a little bit. Here you see the cartilage, so it's, it's a no real joint. You can see there's ligaments above and below to keep it together. So often we talk about the pubic bone as a pivot for iliosacral motion. So whenever you move, you walk, you dance, you cycle, you pivot around the anterior center point. So here we also have the superior ramus and the inferior ramus and the obturator canal with the membrane inside. And from here, the inguinal canal. We're staying a bit around this area for the pubic area and also for this presentation. We have some muscular attachments to the pubic area. From below, we have that doctor coming up to the ramus. Also from below, they have the uh, pelvic floor coming anterior to catch on to the lower part of the pubic bone. From above, we have the whole set of the abdominal musculature coming down, ending down with the pyramidalis down here. So from either end of the pubic bone, we have muscular tissue. You can also notice on the side of the pubic bone, we have the obturator muscle here on the outside. We'll come closer to that. Here you can see a cross section of the pelvis, just the hemipelvis, one ilium, and looking at the inside, we're taking everything out, and you can see the obturator membrane here. Here you can see one surface of the pubic joint. So we're looking at this particular cartilage here from the side over here. This is the same image you saw before, but notice now in this image you have the three vessels going through the obturator foramen. So the nerve, the, the, the two artery and the vessels, uh, the, the vein. 